Good morning guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to lockdown 2020. Uh, we've had lockdown here in South Africa for around three months and while some uh, rules and regulations have been lifted we are still in lockdown. That means no camping unfortunately. So hopefully that'll open up soon and we can get it back on the road. You join me in the beautiful province of KwaZulu-Natal. And I am now on my way to meet up with my mate Jason from Epic Africa and the guys at uh, Safari Co 4x4. And we're getting an exciting bit of kit being fitted to the 200 series today. And I thought I'd take you guys along for the ride and make a little video about it. And yeah, I can't wait. And the weather has just been so great. Been down here for about a week now. And wow so nice to get a break from the cold Johannesburg weather but yeah really really excited to get this piece of kit fitted how's it guys so we out here on the way to Botswana So we are out here at Safari Co 4x4 in Peter Maritzburg and I am getting a replacement front bumper for the Land Cruiser. Uh, it is from a company called Hammer. Thank you so much Hammer. Looks like a fantastic piece of kit. Really looking forward to it. Um, I'm also adding a 13,000 pound winch from Runva. Looks like also a great piece of kit. Hopefully I'll never have to use it. At some point I'm going to have to use it. Uh, so yeah, it's just great to finally be doing the front bumper. It's something I've been putting off for quite a while. And yeah, I'm glad it is uh, a hammer bumper. And the reason for that is I think these replacement front bumpers for the modern day vehicles fit in really nicely compared to the traditional uh, bull bar. Whilst the traditional bull bars are fantastic, I think yeah, this just fits in with the modern day vehicles. It will also increase the clearance and make the vehicle look a lot better. Great, great looking bumper. Definitely up there with the best of them. And yeah, great to get it uh, fitted by some experts. It's great to be out here in KZN and Safari Co 4x4. A kid in a candy store here the showroom is also next level whilst i looked around for some more mods for the land cruiser it was out with the old and in with the new one of my biggest concerns was whether or not the front springs would cope with the added weight of the steel bumper and winch These guys really are the experts when it comes to fitment and wiring, so I knew I was in good hands. Another concern was the amount of grass caught in my radiator, which the team at Safari Co 4x4 kindly cleaned out for me. smoothly 
all the accessories are attached and now I think it's just test fitting the bumper getting the angles right and making sure all the gaps are correct leaving just that little bit of gap for flex but yeah it's looking great cannot wait to see it on winch is on and yeah just tidying up some wiring which is necessary and yeah I think it's gonna definitely look awesome and yeah it's just attention to detail on the hammer bumper that's really amazed me everything is just the tolerances are very small which means everything fits nice and tight but yeah nice little bits and pieces that get you very excited when you have a look at it and yeah some awesome awesome little additions and then my light force venom spots are just gonna go straight back onto the bumper uh, obviously no nudge bar and stuff to mount them now so yeah let's see what it looks like the reason for the 13,000 pound synthetic winch rather than the 11,000 pound was that the 200 series is not a light vehicle and the possibility of winching it out of the mud in the Okavango Delta with a big trailer in tow meant I needed as much help as I could get As it turns out, the front springs didn't sag at all, even with the added weight. Awesome, and we are done. Just the lights are going on and then we're finished. Check how awesome this bit of kit is. bumper replacement for the Land Cruiser 200. I think you will all agree it looks absolutely fabulous. Really changed the look of the vehicle, I love it. Gives it an aggressive stance, makes the tires look a lot bigger and also in terms of practicality it gives me a lot more options. I've obviously mounted the Light Force Venoms here. I used to have them on my nudge bar but now they're here on the front bumper. Uh, and also two places for D-shackles. These are not rated recovery points, but these two underneath are. So remember to always snatch or recover from these ones. These are rated underneath the, the bump over here. These just, they, they look really good and that's fine for me. Uh, I've got the little plate for the number plate, which you can lift up. Underneath there is the 13,000 pound Runva winch. I'm really happy with the winch and the way it's uh, mounted. I obviously haven't used it yet, but yeah, cool that the flap just goes down and covers it. And yeah, you can still have your number plate, obviously. And yeah, just attention to detail is superb. Obviously, the hammer branding over there. And I absolutely love these fog lamps. And they're not just fog lamps, they're actually daytime running lights as well, which is really cool. They look absolutely superb. I'm very, very chuffed with them. I never had daytime running lights apart from here. So that's a nice little extra. And they look great. And obviously space for the headlamp washers and the PDCs, the park distance control sensors. Both of them go either side, which is really nice. Nice to have that in the bumper. I didn't lose any functionality. And the finish is superb. The powder coating is really, really nice. And it fits really tight on the vehicle, which I love. Uh, it's it's not really sticking out or yeah it doesn't protrude too far from the front so the PDCs will be accurate and also the front camera I can see perfectly out of that not that I use it that often but yeah so far really really happy with the product and I will do a follow-up review in about a year's time absolutely chuffed with the upgrade and I can't wait to get some shots with the bumper in I think it makes a vehicle look superb Another awesome touch from Hammer is the built-in indicator feature. 
It's safe to say with the added strength, as well as the airbag compatibility and ADR compliance, I felt a lot safer out on the road. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until the next adventure, cheers.